Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is actually picked up by one of my Patreons. If you do want to become a Patreon, there is a link down below. But today's video is going to be doing my entire makeup with just my hands as tools. So if you aren't already subscribed, please do make sure you do that and leave a like comment. Let's get into it. My skincare is done. She's glowing. I have myself a coffee for the stress that's about to happen. And I have all the products laid out in front of me. I feel like with this, we kind of have to be very strategic. I genuinely don't even know what to start with because I'm like, do I start with my brows? What the frick do I do? For someone that genuinely doesn't like anything on her fingers and really struggles with like the texture, this is going to be a bloody nightmare. I think we need to start off with priming the skin. I kind of want to give this another try because I've been seeing Caitlin Muirhead, I think, put this under eyes because she doesn't set her powders and it's been kind of smoothing it out. So let's see if this actually works. This is, I, I originally hated this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this behind, underneath my eyes. It's the Beauty Crop Pore Filter Blurring Primer. It's quite a thick kind of silicone-y primer. Oh, this feels horrendous. It feels so oily. But if this works, it may have saved the day. Are we looking smoother already? Do you know what? I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites. This is actually my favorite primer from the Beauty Crop. This is the vitamin C one. And it just makes my makeup stick. Even though today's makeup might turn out real shit and I might not want it to stick. Um, we like to at least prime our faces if we like the result. Like look at the glow that adds, but leaving that for a minute, it gets so sticky. See, priming is easy because you do that every day with your hands anyway. It's like skincare. It's when you start to get into the other aspects, you're like, wow. The frick have I chosen to do today? I'm trying to find products that have pumps so I don't have to like wipe a doe foot, if you get what I mean. We haven't used this on my YouTube channel yet. This is the Beauty Bay Glow Filter. I absolutely love this stuff. It's kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, but I much prefer the pump. So I'm just gonna pop two pumps of this on my hands and it's just gonna kind of add a little like tint to my skin and a glow. But yeah, if you do wanna see more challenges, definitely do leave it down below and I will do them. Cause I feel like YouTube is definitely the place where you can make yourself look like a fool and it's fine. Ugh. For foundation, ooh, this one, because I know this kind of sets down a bit, so I know I won't need any powder, but this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. I've got the shade 10. I feel like you definitely don't need a lot. I'm allowed to put it on my face with the pipette, right? I'm not gonna put any more than that, because I feel like any more than that is gonna be hard as hell to blend in. Do I tap it like a beauty blender, or do I rub it? Ooh, color match. I feel like I have to tap. This doesn't feel as illegal as it should. Blend it down in it. Uh... Wait, why does that look good? Do you know what? If we can make this turn out well, I might be on something here. That mixed with the Beauty Bay Glow Filter looks beautiful on my skin. My skin looks flawless. So for concealer, I have the Dubious Place Concealer. This is in the shade 18. And I love this concealer because you can wear it full coverage or you can wear it kind of not. So I'm going to put a little bit there, a little bit there, tiny dot there, down my nose, lip, chin, and this fuck off spot. And then I'm going to use my fine cosmetics concealer i'm allowed to apply it with the doe foot right and then blend it out of my hands and then i'm going to use the fine cosmetics concealer in the shade eight to brighten but i'm only going to add a little bit of her now it's time to blend this concealer out i'm going to use these two fingers i feel like they're the squishiest to blend it the spot just won't cover i know it won't mm. i feel like i'm slaying this already bitch is about to bite her tongue <laughs> no i bit my lip earlier look blew up like a little balloon i'm telling you now that bitch hurt Creams is where it's slightly easier. I feel like as soon as it comes to powder, that's where we need to get using our brains. Um, because I feel like we can go downhill real quick with that. Oh, I'll tell you now, my face is missing my By Caitlin Collection Booty Blender. Okay, let's try and do these under eyes. It's so weird feeling the texture of your concealer because usually your fingers don't really touch it. Oh, she's giving full coverage. Why is my finger blended out so nicely? I'm gonna stick my finger right in that inner corner. Trying to get right up in those crevices. I feel like if I don't look, I can't see that my finger is literally right up next to my eyeball. For someone with nails, this is actually quite difficult. Okay, now I'm gonna use the slightly darker shade of concealer on the outer bit, just cause I didn't wanna bring so much brightness, cause I feel like my finger isn't gonna soak up much pigment. And then I'll just meet that in the middle on the lid as well. Okay, that, tell me that don't look bad. I'm getting like a stiff finger. My finger is not supposed to be this straight for so long. That just blends super nicely. Why does concealer underneath the eye? Just blend really nicely with your finger. So this is the Doll Beauty Gimme Contour. The reason why I use this is because because it's more on the creamier side. So I'm just gonna pop some on the skin and just hope that this blends out like butter. Pretty please. Um, because it's literally like a serum. So I feel like on my fingers, it being warmed up and me going like this, it will do the job. And then a quick little tap over. She's blended, I was smart. 
okay with challenges like this you really got to think about the products that you use oh she's giving snatch that looks so pretty my skin looks so good by the way okay i feel like I put a little bit too much on my nose well try and blend it na, na, na. For blush, I've gone in with the Rare Beauty because I feel like you need the smallest amount and it goes really far, which means I'm not going to add so much liquidiness to my skin and it will just melt right in. So just a little bit of that. Rare Beauty is just a staple on everyone's makeup bag at this point. Blended like a dream every time. You could blend that Rare Beauty blush out with a tree branch and it still looks smooth. I'm going to cry if I find one my hair on my face. Okay, now this is where I would powder. The thinnest powder that I own that if I put on my fingers, it's not going to like cling and make like a weird patch is the hood a beauty eat cupcake let's use this one this is going to be horrendous with my finger nails because i can't really get my fingers in the pan now i'm going to use this the finger to blend and set have i set have i did it i might be winning and then you can use your finger to kind of dust away the excess for someone that has done that with their finger first of all that's set second of all it doesn't actually look that bad so let's do that again this can be a long process i love it i'm using one finger to set the under eye creases and one finger to sculpt my nose because that's a priority. I wonder if my boyfriend, if he got back from work, would notice that I did my makeup with my hands and that my makeup looked a little bit dodged. I am intrigued how the frick we're gonna set the rest of my face. I feel like we kinda need to use the palms on my hands because they're pretty smooth and I could just punch myself. <laughs> but how the frick am I supposed to get the product onto my back of my hand? Now, let me evenly distribute. This is going everywhere. RIP my top. Okay. You can call me a genius later, it's fine. And then use my fingers to pat it out. I'm sorry, but that is a set draw. <laughs> Why did that work? I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'm gonna speed it up. Editing Becca, do your thing. And that is how you set your makeup with your hands. I am hella shook of how smooth this looks. This should not look this smooth. Now, this is where I go in with my powder bronzer. I'm gonna use my powder and bronzer because she's my go-to um, and I love her. But I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna do this. It might have to be another back of the hand job, but the back of my hand just isn't that blend. Oh, <gasps> bitch. Test me, please. <laughs> it's squidgy. The back of my hand is really hard. So I'm thinking, what is squidgy? The side of your hand. Let's see how bronzy we can get. Do you know what? If this actually works, I'm going to be shooketh. Look at that. This is why I love the pan on bronzer. Because it does not matter what you apply it with. It looks smooth as hell. Okay, how do I do this side? Should have thought about that. I don't know how to put the product there now. I could swap hands, but I don't want to. And then i give it a quick squidge that way. Honestly, rate my efforts down below because this is giving. Now I'm gonna use my finger and I think I'm gonna bronze up the eye just a little bit. I don't know if the shade's dark enough to do it, but I just want a little bit of something on there and cause it's already set, I feel like it's just gonna blend right in. Yeah. I'm actually so freaking proud of myself right now. Okay, now I need powder blush. Let's pick something we haven't used in a while. Dull Beauty, you've seemed to have shown up quite a bit today. So let's show up again. Um, I think I'm gonna use the same technique. This is let's get wavy bright hot pink and i feel like if i stamp it then blend that's definitely enough product for both cheeks and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose chop, 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 chop. the blush is applied but now we just need some highlighter i'm going to use the take two cosmetics loose highlighter in casatopia let's hope to the best that i can make this look okay because i feel like highlight is the one thing that can look like you've put it on with your fingers i only really want a little bit this is the thing i haven't used setting spray so i don't think the highlight is sticking as well now this is where it becomes comedic because we may have slayed the base but when it comes to mascara brows like eyeshadow and lipstick this is where things can go horribly wrong so i'm just gonna hope in my skill that i can get this right this hair is gonna have to stay back i have my mobile mitchell color case because i feel like this is what's gonna save me and my nails i feel like my nails i could do some business with this yeah because i can make eyeliner like a black eyeliner brow eyeliner i can use it for my brows and my lips so i feel like this is the best formula to do that with am i allowed to mix a color at least get something out without ruining my actual palette it's like this is a challenge but i also don't want to ruin my palette this little spatula will just help me get the product out a little bit of this brown and a little bit of white just to make a brow color there is my brow color i think i did pretty freaking well with that and now do i trust myself i want to extend my brow because obviously it's hella short so i'm gonna dip my nail it's rounded by the way yep go and get my nails done on monday and pull out okay now i need to connect this arch 
to the tail. Oh, I could use the side of my nail. Did I do it? Oh God, oh God. No, I want this to look good. This is not looking good. It's not the worst. Do you know what? Once I fluff those hairs up, that is <laughs> that's a brow. I wouldn't be ashamed to walk outside. Grab a little bit more pigment, kind of fill in the brow to like give it an ombre effect. That looks really good. I'm just kind of messily throwing it on and hoping for the best. What do we think? That didn't happen. How do I save this? Make it worse. Oh god. These are two different eyebrows, hun. This is genuinely getting worse and worse because my nail is so dirty right now. Try and bloody save this. Look at these eyebrows. If they weren't given in 2016, I don't know what else is. I need that sharp point, you know? Just flick it out. I need to fill in the front a bit. Just use the excess of what's on the nail, to be honest. These are two different brows. That one, I kind of slayed that one. Don't ever repeat that to me. Okay, I'm gonna use my Beauty Crop BFF brow styler and just pick up a little bit and just see if I can make them stay in place. Add like a little bit of brow gel, you know? It's giving a good old shine. Okay, let's use the nail to run it through. Stick up those front hairs. Um, no, let's not do that. Becca, just stop there. Now, we need to use my shadow. Um, I'm actually gonna use this color pen and I think I'm gonna stick my finger in here and i want to use this paint as like an eyeshadow you see because these dry down matte so i know they're not gonna crease or anything but i just need a base for some glitter that looks so good what the fuck these brows need to dry down asap because right now it looks like i've got a water slide on my forehead look at the shine this is actually blended out super nicely with your finger so if you haven't tried the made by Victor color case it's actually back in stock but with your finger works really well I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of look smoother with my finger than it does with a brush. I want a chocolate brown eyeliner. That's the colour we're going with. How am I gonna do this? Like this? Ooh, that might be a hit. You gotta be quick with this, okay? <laughs> Let's try that again. No. Look at that. Why the fuck is that straight? Fucking call me a genius. Okay, now we gotta line it up. Okay, you know what? The first time's always like a struggle. Go again. I just want that line to meet up and sh sh I mean business. I never thought in my life would I be doing my entire face of makeup with my fingers. Come on, I want to perfect you. Stop getting messier. Okay, she's getting a little chunk chunk. The first line slayed. The set, then I started to fill it in and dry and join it. And then something happened. Stop there, Becca. I want that point to be pointy up. Oh God. Is that better? Okay, let's try the other eye. I can't promise this going to that. But it's always the first line. The first line is not too bad. And then you try to do other things. And that is where things start to go horribly wrong. What the fuck? The base I slayed, these eyes, this is bad. The worst part is these nails are actually scratching at my eyeball. I need some glitter to save this. It looks like a child has drawn on my face. Okay, this is the Wib Love Cosmetics Glitter in Rose Gold. But this is what this looks like. It's actually really pretty. But I haven't used this shade before, so I just whipped it out. And these you can just pop on with your finger. So I feel like, oh, that matches the brown liner really nicely, actually. I feel like this might save it, you know? Like, if I distract you with glitter, you would never never know that I have the world's chunkiest liner on. Very pretty glitter by the way. It's like problems in life. If you cover it up with some glitter, it makes you feel better. That's what I like to tell myself anyway. I'm gonna try and attempt mascara because I can't use a mascara wand because you can't really do that with your finger. But what I can do is just scoop some black out of the paint palette, warm it up on my hand and then apply mascara like this. Give it a wiggle. Me trying not to put myself in the eye. You know what? Those lashes are getting some mascara on them, you know? Might need 17 billion layers, but we are getting there. <laughs> mascara. This eye is where I put myself. Believe it or not, this doesn't actually feel as weird, weird as it should. But I am going to stop there because I'm at that point where I don't know if these paints should be this close to my eyes. Now, the last thing to do is lipstick. I might have what, this one in the bag, you know? It depends how the lip liner goes. And if it's anything like the eyeliner, we're in for a bumpy ride. Let's do my go-to little lip combo. I'm just gonna grab these two browns, mix those. Let's apply some lip liner. Now, I'm gonna start off with my Cupid's bow. We might end up with a McDonald's Cupid's bow. Okay, we've got a Cupid. I'm just kind of smearing it and hoping for the best. I think we're giving very pout lips right now. We might have smashed that. It has taken far too long. Now I've got an outline. Just go in with a little bit of that lip liner and kind of fill it in. Now, for actual lipstick, I'm thinking this colour. 
What do we think? I need lip gloss. My lips are dry. Oh, I think I've literally like ripped off three layers of my lips doing that. Lip gloss. Easiest one yet. And just in case I wanted this to last all day, I'm gonna go with a little bit of setting spray. Um, this is the Amelia Olivia Glow Mist. I don't really know how to apply this. Would you like me to throw it at my face? Do I just... There we go. This doesn't look bad. Minus the eyes and the slightly dodgy lip liner, whatever you call that, a brow. Um, my makeup doesn't look horrendous. Please do rate it down below. And Claire Beck, thank you for giving me this idea. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually pretty fun to kind of see what I could do with just my hands. That sounds so dodgy. But yeah, this is the makeup. Do you know what, the base is actually, like I'd go out with this base on. This base looks flawless, not gonna lie. Um, She's looking good. The lip liner's not too bad. Just means it kind of looks like I've done it when I'm drunk. Um, It also looks like I've done my eye makeup drunk as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video and do wanna see some more challenges, please do leave them comment down below. And if you've made it this far, please do leave a little orange heart. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And yeah, please do leave a like comment as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.